Hello, I'm Dr Emma Bolton and I'm the founder and director of abortiononline.com.au and Clinic 66, which is a reproductive and sexual health clinic here in Sydney, Australia. I'm speaking to you today because it's the 28th of September, which is International Safe Abortion Day. Now, unlike many women around the world, women in Australia do have access to abortion services. And at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, Medicare subsidies were brought in, which enabled women to access safe and professional medical abortion via telehealth, regardless of where they lived. This was a really great step forward for women's essential healthcare rights. But now, even though they need it more than ever, the government have rolled back access to telehealth subsidised medical abortion via telehealth, unless it's with your regular GP. This essentially precludes access to medical abortion via telehealth because there are very few doctors in Australia who provide this service. And this creates a financial barrier to many of our most vulnerable women uh, by preventing access to the care that they need. But I'm not alone in seeking this change from our government. I have joined a coalition of healthcare providers, academics and women's advocacy groups. And together we are petitioning the Minister for Health for Change. I urge you to join us. Can you add your name to the call to Minister Hunt to keep telehealth accessible to those who need it the most?